Bible Tastic Adventure. I am Daniela, and I am so excited that you and I get to read our Bibles together one more time. Do you have your Bible with you? If you don't, go get it, because today we are going to read from the book of Philippians. Philippians. This was actually a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. And so this letter, God made sure that they put here in the Bible so that you and I can read what God wants us to know. Okay, Philippians, are you ready for this? We're gonna read verse eight and then we're gonna talk about it. It says, finally, brothers and sisters. That is a way of calling people that we, cause we are a big family in Christ. So you guys are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And so that is why the apostle Paul used to call them brothers and sisters. Cause you know, they were really close. Like, like we can be really, really good friends, right? So finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. Now, those are a lot of words right here, but let's read it one more time because each word is really, really, really important. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. This sounds like a song, doesn't it, to you? Whatever is true, whatever novel but <laughs> we will make a song you guys this is gonna happen but why are we to think about these things you know our minds we think about really really cool things but sometimes right sometimes our minds just they think scary thoughts or we are insecure and we think oh you know probably my friends don't like me anymore or we think things that are not the best and they'll, they'll, those things cause us to be afraid or those things cause us to be angry or to hurt somebody else because in our minds we thought something that probably wasn't true but we focused on that. But God wants you and I to focus on the things that are true, that are noble, that are right, that are pure, that are lovely, that are admirable, that are excellent or praiseworthy. God wants us to think about all of those things instead of the things that discourage us, you know? Because God designed your mind and mine to think about all of these amazing things, but that is kind of hard sometimes, right? Because it's so easy. It is so easy to think about the negative things. It is so easy to be afraid when we're alone at night. It is so easy to imagine that our friends don't like us or that our parents are mad at us. It is so easy. And that is okay because we're human and we make all of those mistakes and God knew that. But still, he invites you and I to focus on the lovely things, the noble things, the true things, because that is what you and I were designed to think about. And when we do, you know, our lives get a lot better. We start smiling more, we start being better siblings, we start being better daughters, better sons, better friends, and our lives are completely changed for good. And you see the fruit of that. You see the good things that come from following what God invites you and I to do. Because in the end, He designed us. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's why I love reading the Bible, because there is so much good stuff here, so much wisdom, so much amazing knowledge that you and I can get and learn, and these will help our, our lives be a lot better. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Well, thank you for joining me in this moment, and I'll see you back at another Bible-tastic adventure. Bye!